starting to score too. Uh, boy, he is a horse in, in that forward line, I'll tell oh, you. Yeah. You can't knock him off the ball. That ball is flicked down. Beautiful flick that time. Here's Jaisley turning, sending it in the middle. And there's a goal! Nice job. I believe it was Nate Robinson that came. How about Yisley with a beautiful turn? Of experience. You know, I, I believe he was a player at uh, Portsmouth. I, I believe he's also been an assistant coach. Ooh. At, uh, Here's an opportunity. And a goal! Well done. That ball slipped through from Robinson to Ownby. Rolls it over to Gorez. Gorez. Nguenya. Beautiful header. There's a shot and a goal! Beautiful job by Nguenya. As he headed it down to, I believe, Haboush. The MLS, so it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting turnaround for the Rhinos if they can do it. There's Brett Schneider. He's into the 18. A low cross and a goal! Rosenlin slams it home with the left foot. The Rhinos in the fourth minute have a one nothing lead. Yeah, and that's great. That's a great goal right there. And great stuff by Brett Schneider to see the, the crash into the middle of the park. What a great goal and a good way to start the start the game. Tampa a little flat, starting the first five minutes of the game. This is a Pat Ercole thing, right? First five minutes, you have to go at them because they're going to be flat. And sure enough, Tampa came in here thinking that the 12th place team isn't going to get isn't ahead on it. Second chance for Hoffer. This time McManus is on. McManus, a little poke. It's in the net. He times his run well. He's got another goal. And that was a great ball, and that was a good timing of the run. You saw he was flat and then turned that corner. But watch Martin on this one as well. He takes that little bit of a hesitant step. If Martin definitely need, and um, they haven't had a lot of, they, they've had a lot more games on the road. McManus. Good ball, Brett Schneider, goal! Well taken goal, the Rhinos lead it 3-0. You know, if you back up to, to, to the point right here where the guy's playing on the ground and, and really Mark Lawrence lets the play go and I think, I think Tampa Bay was looking for the call there and all of a sudden, and right here the ball's being played on the ground. And you got Taylor and Lillard, two tall guys in the box. Eric Reed comes out and bumps it out. And we get something started again, and the Marka manages to get that one in. That's in the center for Sam Asante racing up. Moving. And now Ramirez with a great opportunity. And Ramirez, Yates with it now. Finally with Jumper. And Yates and Jumper get it. Tangled up there. Clark. Overlap from Dunivon. That's a good ball in the downward header. What a save from Mohamedy, but he can't get it the second time around as it's stuck home for the opening goal for the Galaxy. And Mohamedy did so well, but just couldn't smother that rebound. What a reaction save, but great job of the Galaxy to just keep going. Yep, kept the first one out, as you said, but the striker reacted quicker. As we have entered into the 90th minute of play, poor clearance, and a chance could be on here for the Blues. Spitz Go in, on. puts it across goal, Cortez! Yes! It's the equalizer in the 90th minute for the LA Blues! <laughs> great goal. Have two leagues running simultaneously, and oh, great through ball for Langley here. Langley streaking in, Langley cuts it back, and James comes out, but Langley stays with it. And Harrisburg goes up one nothing here. Great through ball. Actually, we'll pick it up here with Morgan Langley. Almost done. It actually came off of him right into James' hands, and James couldn't handle it. And Langley was able to stay with it. I would actually consider that. I would have considered that actually possession, to be honest with you. Watch how his hands on top of the ball. Yeah. And then oh, all of a sudden, yeah, it gets right. kicked through his hands. So you're right. One finger on top. So our program is trying to uh, help kids out who are in a bit of need for one reason or another. And Antigua picks up a big goal here to start this second half. Able to beat uh, Noble to the ball and flick it over the top. So the third goal of the game coming in favor of Antigua. And that goal coming in the 47th minute. There you saw the finish there. 
Here's Ekra now, top of the box. Let's a shot go. What a finish. Jan Ekra picks up the third goal of the game for Harrisburg now. Finish. Here's Lucky Mukasana with the ball, leaves it off. Ekra has time to place this one. I tell you what, what a tremendous finish. Every time I've seen him have a chance to set that ball up and let it go, he's just a tremendous striker of the ball. Steps in, the delivery, it's whipped into the box. Off the crossbar, and Roseboom finds the back of the net for a wide open goal! Lance Roseboom, the first one to get there, just gets a touch on the ball, and it comes in off the underside of the crossbar, and beats the Charleston goalkeeper. Over the ball, Agite. Headed away by Roberts on to the near side of the 18, Azira. Headed down at the sixth goal by Charleston's Sean Ferguson. 47th minute, the battery have tied it at one. And you called it, they came on with early pressure. Yeah, Charleston probably coming out after uh, hockey during the half. Weather, 75 degrees here in Beaver Creek, Ohio. High pressure there, and a chance for the Dutch There's Lions, and a goal. So a simple mistake there on the goal kick it did not happen. Right, and so the Dutch 10 players on the Tampa Bay side. So opportunities here. Back post, beautiful ball there. Horath skies for Dutch Lions, sky for it. Oh and goodness. we have a goal from wow. the Dutch Lions. So Horath misses the ball. Dutch Lions with the opportunity there. At the same time, but I think the key for Tampa right now, you've got to set your goal at, at, at getting one back before we go to intermission. Ball served in. Beautiful there head there and goal. So Dutch Lions leave the man free. I believe it was possibly Bondu or Reynolds. Forget the name on that. Was it Bondu? Prince could do out there, and, and Greeny has been shutting it down so far. This is a dangerous situation this for the Riverhounds. Oh! There is. And a great shot there Ho by the... Uh, Jose uh, Cueva, <laughs> really. And he just rips it far post, and that's a beauty. That is a shame. That is a beauty. Nothing you can do with that one. We could not close him fast enough. Looked like Sterling Flunder tried to get out on him, but it wasn't quick well, enough. For a little bit of a... As he's on the far post, he's bouncing off. Oh, and a, yes, oh! In the back of the net. Jose Abdullah for the River Rounds. Yeah, right in a dangerous he area. And he, he whiffs at it, and the ball's knocked in. And, and, and keepers made some, uh, uh, Cooper's made some great saves, but he has struggled all night in the air. Definitely. And, and